Hello, my name is Frank and welcome to Learning in Technologies Quick Tips for Teams. Well, Microsoft Teams has a fantastic meeting client built right into it, a lot of organizations are still using Zoom in order to do online meetings. Is there a way that we can make Zoom and Teams work together? And the answer is yes. In this video, I'll show you how I can add Zoom into Teams. There are several popular ways to meet online. So Microsoft Teams meetings is one. Um, if you could use uh, Cisco WebEx is another one. But a very popular one is Zoom. So what if you're in a Teams environment where you've got your portal for conversations, you're doing announcements, you're doing file sharing, all the wonderful things that Teams gives you outside of just meeting. But you are using Zoom for your meeting environment, for your online meeting environment. You've decided for whatever reason not to use Microsoft Teams meetings. Well, what we can do is if we go to the ellipse, you'll notice that I can actually add Zoom as an app right into meetings. So what I can do is add the Zoom app into meetings. And this will allow me to have a tab right in my meetings environment where I can now go in, start, join, or work with a Zoom environment. So you can see that, for example, if I just go in, and I'll just go, now that I have Zoom here, I can start right here, but let's pretend I'm in a meeting or in a team. And let's say we wanna have, I'll create a new channel, we'll call it meetings. So we'll call this uh, new channel meetings. See if we have a, there we go, call it meetings and we're going to put our, our various different meetings that we have in this channel. So we've decided this is going to be where we do our online meetings and let's just put that in there and underneath meetings if I go to new conversation and I do now at Zoom and you'll see right from Zoom here I'm able to go in and start a meeting or schedule a meeting. So let's start a Zoom meeting. What this will do is launch my Zoom environment so it'll ask me to sign into Zoom. I'll sign in, just drag this over here, and you can see I can sign into my Zoom environment. So I have to authorize the app and it's uh, accessing re a request to access my Zoom account. So I will authorize that. So I have to put in my Microsoft account information. I'll consent on behalf of my organization because I am the administrator. And now I can put in a topic for the meeting. Cool demo and we start a Zoom meeting. So it's opened it up full screen for me and I can join with my computer audio. And now I'm in this meeting, I'm in my Zoom meeting, which I launched directly from Teams. So I've just taken it out of full screen, but you can see here I can copy the link, I can start the video. Now I can also go in and we'll do another new conversation and I can also schedule a Zoom meeting. So if I go into Zoom, what can I do? I can also schedule a meeting. So if I go in to schedule a meeting, so I'll just have a meeting for today and we can choose our zone and everything, say save that meeting. And now I have a Zoom call scheduled with a passcode generated, a meeting ID generated, and then we'll accept the meeting. And now it's in my calendar. You can see that I accepted it. So that's a great way to integrate Zoom into your meetings environment. Thank you for watching. I hope that was useful. If it was, hit the like button, subscribe for more tips and longer videos and share with any colleagues that might benefit from this information. Thank you for watching. Here's some other videos you can check out on my channel.